Okay, this laptop is set up with Photoshop, drivers, what have you, all you everything you need really, templates. Uh, we're going to load up Photoshop, just double click on the template file. Okay, so this template is A4 in 300 dpi and it allows us to print three mugs. Okay, so down here is the USB port to import our graphics. Okay, so I've got my files up. I'm going to just drag the one that I want. So this is a, a design that i done earlier. Okay, going to drag the design that I want straight into Photoshop. That's what I want there. I'm going to actually do two of them. Uh, it's always a good idea to actually do th up to three uh, because that's what um, the template will hold. Okay. I'm going to drag another file in. This is a one that I've already designed. It's always a good idea just to design it on your own computer and not try and use this. Paste that in there. Control C. I'm not going to teach you how to uh, use Photoshop because that's not what it's all about. Okay, so I've got my designs in there. I can shrink them and move them around, do whatever I want. But now we're going to insert the paper, printer on, grab some paper, okay, shiny side up. Now they both look shiny, but it's literally, that is the shinier side. So it's gonna go in there. Okay, so control P. The default printer is the mug printer. Okay, so you by rights you should just be able to print SX218, that is the sublimation printer. Okay, so the laptop we use doesn't actually have Wi-Fi, so it's always best to design your designs at home or wherever, and just bring them in on a USB stick. Okay, so it's come out, really looks nice. It's, it is reversed, so that when it goes on the mug, it's printed the correct way. We now have to just be a bit patient and let it sit there for five or six minutes to sort of dry. Okay, so whilst that's uh, drying as such, we're going to get the uh, heat tape prepped. Okay, this is used to stick the design onto the mug. Normal sellotape would obviously melt. So in this instance, we just need four little pieces for two designs. Okay, so we now need to slice this up. This has been sitting for about five minutes or so. And you've got to try and get this as square as possible, otherwise your design will just look a bit wonky. Okay. Now you'll notice this one has a little line on it. We need to get rid of that because that will be printed on the mug otherwise. You can just slice a corner off, not a problem. And we're gonna... Okay, so we've got our sublimation mug. This will not work on um, normal mugs. And this has been printed with sublimation ink. So, all looking good. I'm just going to stick the this on. And we need to get this as central as possible and as square as possible. So, that's all around the desk. That's on. That's good to go. Okay, so now I've prepped this. I'm going to turn the heat press on. And this may take around five minutes to actually heat to get to its temperature of 210 degrees. So as this is heating up, we're going to carefully place a blank Duff mug in. Okay, be careful putting it in because the Teflon coating gets damaged very easily. So we're getting to the 210 degrees Celsius mark. Now it's probably never going to actually hit that, so we'll take it out at this point. Okay. Now, when it gets to the temperature, it doesn't actually tell you there's no beeps or anything, so just keep an eye on it. Now we're ready to put this in. Now, very carefully. Okay. Try not to get the handle jammed or what have you. We're in. And uh, we will press start. Now, sometimes if the mugs are particularly cold, we want to cook them just a little bit longer than, than the uh, two minutes. Okay, so it's coming down to its zero point. Now, because it's particularly cold in here today, when that goes off, I'm just going to press the button. I'm just going to leave it in there for another five or ten seconds. It really won't won't hurt.
Okay, so I'm going to call it there. Straight out, and then this is not hot, so but the rest of it is very hot. Take that off as quick as you can. Look at that. Brilliant. Put it away somewhere where nobody's going to burn themselves on it. When you're finished working, make sure you turn it all off. Okay, so here's an example of a perfect print, and here's one that really did need an extra five to ten seconds because it just wasn't hot enough. So it's always best just to give it an extra few seconds. The other thing is, when you've done your job, put a couple of quid in the box.